If I had to ask you how to solve this equation, you would probably try to use factorizing where you would use a trinomial or you would use something like completing the square. But what if I told you that there is a formula that gives you the answers immediately? That is what we're going to speak about in today's lesson. So the formula that we're going to learn about goes like this. x equals minus b plus minus square root b squared take away 4ac over 2a. So let me just rewrite that. That's a b. Now where am I getting the a, the b, and the c? Well remember that when you write a quadratic equation where the zero is on the one side, then that is how it works. The a is the coefficient in front of the x squared, the b is the coefficient in front of x, and then c. So this is your a, your b, and your c. So let's show you how the formula actually works. So you go ahead and you say negative because there's a negative over there, and then 12 because b is 12. Then you say plus and minus, and then b again is 12. Do that one in brackets, and then minus 4. Now a is 6, and c is also 6. Okay, and then at the bottom you're going to have 2 times a, which is 6. There we go. Now, each teacher is different. Your teacher might just say, okay, go plug that on the calculator. But some teachers are like really serious about this and they want you to go simplify even further before putting it on the calculator. So they would, let me write it up here. So they would maybe say x equals to negative 12 plus the square root of 144, sorry, plus and minus, of 144 because that's what 12 squared is. And then 4 times 6 is 24, and then 24 times 6 is also 144. And then if you divide that, you're dividing that by 12. Okay, so then you, the, your teachers might say x equals to minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 0 over 12. And that's going to give us x equals to negative 12 plus or minus 0 over 12. And plus or minus 0 just cancels out. And so the answer would be negative 12 over 12, which is negative 1. Okay, so that's the formula. Now, as I said, some teachers, um, I've seen a lot of schools where the teacher will just let you plug it into your calculator at that step. Whereas some teachers, typically the older teachers, more old school, they were around before calculators were invented, um, they'll want you to go show all the steps right towards the end. So you should sort of have to just do whatever your teacher is doing in class. Let's do some more examples. So here's our next one. So you always want to make sure that it's written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So you always want the zero on the one side. So here we are good, we've got it. So let's go write out that formula. You're going to use this formula so much. You're going to know it off by heart soon. Okay, and so remember that this is a, this is b, and this is c. Well, b is the number in front, so that's b. And then that's c. Okay, so let's go plug it in. So x equals to negative. Now b is negative 1, so put it in a bracket so that those two, we don't have to put a bracket there, so you could do that if you wanted to, that's okay. But you could also use a bracket. With this one on the inside, I always tell learners, for that b value, put it in a bracket. Trust me, I've seen a lot of issues there. And then take away 4, and then a is uh, 4, and c is negative 138. And then we say 2, and then what is a? a is 4. Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit further. But if your teacher is one of those teachers that says just plug it in the calculator at that step, then that's awesome. But I'm just going to simplify it a little bit further. So minus minus 1, well that's negative and a negative, which makes a positive. And then we're going to say plus minus. And then square root of 1 take away. Now, if you type all of that on the calculator, including that negative 4, you end up with um, 2,208, okay? And then at the bottom, you end up with 8. And then let's go a bit further. And then that's 2,209 over 8. Okay, and then I don't know why I'm writing so weird. And then if you take the square root of 2,209 on your calculator, it's actually 47. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was going to be a normal number. So... That's going to be 47 over 8. Okay, so now we're going to get two answers because we have a plus and a minus. So 
if we had to use the plus, then you're going to end up with x equals to 1 plus 47 over 8, and that's going to give us 6. And then your other answer would be x equals to 1 take away 47 over 8, and that's going to give us negative uh, 5.75. Or if you want to keep it as a fraction, negative um, 23 over 4. Okay, so here's our next example. Now, remember, we said that to use the quadratic formula, it has to be written in the standard form, where you've got it like that. So all that we'll do is we'll just take this over to the other side, where it'll become a positive. There we go. I'm just going to put these two together. So it's m squared, take away 10m, plus 25. Okay, so let's go use that formula. So minus b plus minus square root b squared take away 4ac over 2a. Okay, so that's going to be um, x equals to negative, and then b is negative 10, like that, plus minus, and then um, I'm going to run out of space. Okay, and then always put this one in a bracket. This one's optional, but... Um, this one with the square is very important. I've seen a lot of learners, they do this. They go minus 10 squared. And then they type that on the calculator. And what happens is that the calculator doesn't see the negative as part of the 10. So it only squares the 10 and not the negative, And that causes the sign to be wrong. So put it in a bracket there. And then take away 4. And then A is 1. And C is 25. And then at the bottom, we end up with 2 times 1. Okay, so x would then be, um, this would become a positive 10, so it would be 10 plus minus um, 100, take away 4 times 25. Oh, it's also going to be take away 100. Okay, so now we're only going to get one answer. Uh, whenever this part becomes a zero, then you only get one answer. So if you had to carry on simplifying, you should eventually end up with the answer as 5. Here's our next example. So remember, you always want it to be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So what you can do, you can either take everything to the right or you can take everything to the left. That doesn't really matter. Um, you can also have it like this. The answer at the end will be exactly the same. Okay, but what I'm gonna do, I don't know, I've just got this habit. I'm gonna take everything to the left. So we're gonna end up with um, a squared, take away five a squared because this becomes negative. And then negative 19a plus 10a, because this one would become a positive, plus 1 equals 0. And so that's going to give us negative 4a squared, uh, take away 9a plus 1 equals to 0. And now we're good to go. Some students say, yeah, but Kevin, what about this? This is a negative, bro. Mustn't we make that a positive? Well, that's the thing. With this formula, you don't have to. Because remember, the formula... Um, all that you need to tell the formula is what is the A value, what is the B value, and what is the C value. And if your A value is negative, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go fill everything in. So x equals to negative, negative 9, because B is negative 9. And then plus minus, square root, and then this would be negative 9 squared. Take away 4. Now A is negative 4, and C is 1. There we go. And then A is... Whoopsie, not, I was thinking of the answer. Uh, negative 4. Okay, so let's go simplify a little bit. So x would be uh, a negative, and a negative makes a positive. And then plus minus, and that's going to be 81. It will eventually be 81 plus 16, because that negative 4 and that negative 4 makes positive. And then at the bottom, let's do this a bit better. At the bottom, we would have negative 8. And so I'm going to move this over here now, so you'd end up with x equals to 9 uh, plus minus the square root of 97 over negative 8. And if you just go type that on the calculator, it's probably going to take this negative and then pop it up to the top. Yeah, so, okay, so on the calculator, it'll give you negative 9 plus minus the square root of 97 over 8. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this part. 
Okay, so now you're going to get two answers because there's a plus and a minus. So for your first answer, just keep it as a plus. And then for your second answer, just keep it as a minus or negative. And of course, if your teacher likes to put it into the decimal form, you can easily get the decimal. So that's what I do in these lessons. I mean, I don't know if your teacher wants decimals or if they want you to simplify all of this or if they just want you to put it straight into the calculator. I don't know, but luckily you know. So I just try to show you as much as possible and then you must just take from it what you can. Two more examples. So this one, we need to bring that eight over first. So, oh, there's not even a... Oh, okay, cool. This is a nice one for you guys to see. So negative 106 plus 8 equals to 0. So that's going to be 2n squared minus 98 equals to 0. Okay, so now in the formula, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Um, what don't we have? Have a look carefully. Well, we've got the x squared. Well, yeah, the letter doesn't really matter. Um, we've, we don't have this one. See that? There's no, there's no n like something with an N. We've got a number, um, we've got a number, which is this one over here, but we don't have a B, but that's okay. We just say that B will be zero. That's all that you do. So in the formula, okay, so we know that um, A will just be two, but B is zero. So you're just gonna go negative zero plus minus zero squared, take away four. A is two, C is negative 98. And then A is 2, like that. Okay, now I'm going to move over to here. So X would be negative 0, plus or minus. And then this would be 0, plus. And then 4 times 2 times negative 98. So all of that together should give you 784 um, over 4. And then if you had to work that out, well, let me first just simplify this. So that's 784. And apparently, according to my calculator, the square root of that is 28. So we're going to have a plus minus 28 because the zero just falls away over 4. Okay, so we get two answers. So the first answer will be um, where you use positive 28 over 4, which is 7. And then the second answer would be where you use negative 28 over 4, which is negative 7. Here's our next example. So what we do here is um, we first need to take this over. So we're gonna end up with four V squared, take away seven V, take away 102. Now we can remember because it's in the form AX squared plus BX plus C, so that's good. Let's write out that formula. So let's go fill it in. So B is negative seven. So what we'll do is we'll say negative, negative seven, and then negative seven like that. A is 4. Okay, I'm not going to have space. So that's negative, negative 7, plus, minus, negative 7 squared. Take away 4, and then A is 4. C is negative 102, and then A is 4, like that. Okay, and so that's going to end up giving 7, because negative and negative is that, and then plus, minus, and then 49. And then this part here, the negatives and the negatives make a positive, so it eventually becomes plus 1,632, and then at the bottom we end up with 8. And so now we have 7 plus minus uh, 1681 over 8. Now let's write over here. The square root of 1681 is 41. That's on my calculator, that's not me. <laughs> and then, um, okay, so we get two answers. The first answer, we're gonna say seven plus 41 over eight, which would be six. And then for your second answer, so I'm gonna say or, now we'll use a negative over here. So you would say uh, seven take away 41 over eight, and that'll be negative 17 over four, um, but if you want to write that in the decimal form, it's negative 4.25, negative 4.25.